So I think for a lot of research scientists, myself included, research is absolutely like a hobby. It's really creative, I get to ask questions, I get to answer those questions, and it's like a puzzle that you want the answer to. So I get, I get to come in every day and find out those answers, and I would never want that to end. My research works on a novel set of immune cells called tissue resident memory T cells. And T cells are really important for combating various viral infections and also they're really important in combating cancer. And the type of T cell that I work on, they live um, contrary to what a lot of people study, which is T cells that circulate throughout the, throughout the body. Um, the subset that I work on resides within tissues such as the skin. And, and what our research is really focused on is how we can control these T cells and how we can harness their protective functions. The research that will be funded by the prize will be directly looking at how we can boost immune responses by tissue resident memory T cells. So what we really want to do is we want to augment the function of these cells and also the formation of these cells within tissues with a view that by boosting their function and boosting their lodgement we're able to get better protection against infection and cancer. What we'd really hope and what we hope to translate all our kind of results towards is the generation of new immunotherapies that will incorporate these tissue resident memory T cells and will harness them to give us better protective responses against a wide variety of infections and also enhanced tumour immunity. The biggest mentor in my career has been Professor Frank Carboni, who I saw present in the United States so many years ago and I heard him talk on tissue resident memory T cells and it was so innovative at that time that um, when I finished my PhD in the UK I moved to Melbourne to work as part of Frank's team. Laura is my trainee and, and trainees come to you because they have a problem. They want you to help them solve the problem. Laura didn't really do that. Um, if she had a problem uh, she'd think about it, she'd work on it, she'd solve the problem um, and then she'd come to you excited, she wanted to share it and it was this enthusiasm which was infectious. As with, um, as with anything that, that Laura sort of tackles, uh, the, the Mickelson Prize has actually been very good for her because uh, it, it um, forced her to think about what she was going to do in the future. Uh, um, and as Laura does, it, uh, she identified some very important worthwhile challenges that she'd like to uh, um, attempt or address. Um, so the Mickelson Prize has been very good from the application process and it's fantastic to see that she's won it and will now be able to pursue those goals that she set herself.